Ever felt like you're being sold a dream? A dream of travel rewards, exclusive perks, and a life of luxury? Well, today, we're going to dive deep into one of the most popular credit cards out there, the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Is it really as amazing as they make it seem? Or is it just another shiny object designed to lure you in? I've been using this card for a few years now, and I've had my fair share of ups and downs. So, let's break down the pros and cons and see if it's the right fit for you. Pros. Points. Let's talk about the most obvious benefit, the points. The Chase Sapphire Preferred earns ultimate rewards points, which are incredibly versatile. You can redeem them for travel, cashback, gift cards, and more. But, are these points really worth it? Compare the value of ultimate rewards points to other popular points currencies. Are they worth more or less? Let's do some math. Travel perks. One of the biggest draws of this card is the travel perks. You get access to priority pass lounges, which can be a game changer for frequent travelers. But, are these lounges worth the annual fee? Let's also talk about the travel insurance benefits. Do they cover everything you need? What are the limitations? Other perks. Aside from travel perks, the Chase Sapphire Preferred offers a few other benefits, like rental car insurance and purchase protection. Are these perks worth considering? Cons. Annual fee. Let's be honest, the annual fee for this card can be a bit steep. Is it worth it for the benefits you're getting? Let's do a cost-benefit analysis. Foreign transaction fees. If you're a frequent traveler, foreign transaction fees can add up quickly. Does the Chase Sapphire Preferred charge these fees? If so, are there any ways to avoid them? Limited introductory offer. The introductory offer for this card can be quite enticing. However, it's important to understand that the benefits may not last forever. Once the introductory period is over, is the card still worth the annual fee? Alternatives. Before you make a decision, let's explore some alternative cards. Are there other cards that offer similar benefits for a lower annual fee? What about cards that specialize in a particular type of travel, like airline or hotel points? So, is the Chase Sapphire preferred a good card? The answer is, it depends. If you're a frequent traveler who values flexibility and points, this card could be a great option. However, if you're on a tight budget or don't travel often, there may be better alternatives. Ultimately, the best card for you will depend on your individual needs and spending habits. Be sure to weigh the pros and cons carefully before making a decision. With that said, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe for more credit card reviews and financial advice.